Hi everyone, in this quick video I just want to talk about the difference between iterative and direct numerical methods. Direct numerical methods are ways of solving problems through a finite number of steps. These ways of solving systems of linear equations can be used to solve any non-singular matrix. Some direct numerical methods are Gaussian elimination and LU factorization. So, when solving systems of linear equations using these direct methods, we take a set number of steps, such as converter system of linear equations, to an augmented matrix, then turn to an upper triangular matrix, then solve. So, after a set number of steps, we arrive at a final solution. Iterative numerical methods are different than direct numerical methods in that they do not necessarily stop after a certain number of steps. By that I mean they will continue to iterate, which means to do again, or repeat with a better guess, until we get a sufficient amount of error. Some examples of iterative numerical methods are the bisection method, Newton's method, and Jacobi iteration. Additionally, when using iterative solvers, you need an initial guess to begin with. We will talk about the importance of this guess in future videos on iterative methods. In terms of actual computation, direct methods are much more computational heavy as everything in your matrix is being solved in one computational step, which requires the whole matrix to actively be used continually. Whereas in an iterative method, the problem is broken up into a bunch of minor steps, which is why iterative methods are usually preferred for larger matrices. In summary, in direct numerical methods, you cannot stop after a certain number of steps and say, hey, that's good enough because what you will have is an unfinished problem and you will have no answer. You need to complete the set of steps to achieve any answer that makes any sense. So, in direct numerical methods, before we begin, we can find out how many steps we need to get to an answer, and you must complete those number of steps to achieve that answer. So, say if you had this matrix, we know we need to turn these three elements to zero, and then use backward substitution, and then we will have a solved system of linear equations or know if it is non-invertible and has no unique solution. However, with iterative numerical methods, you do not have a set number of steps needed. You can stop whenever you want. Just the longer you go, the more accurate your solution will become. So you're just trading off computation time versus accuracy. Thank you for checking out this video and I hope it helped your understanding about the difference between direct and iterative numerical methods. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.